Hi guys, welcome to Webjeta. In this one, we're going to look at uh, how we can use logic in Swell. I'm going to start with a blank uh, page again. I'm going to create something where we can use those logics. Let's say I have uh, a world and I'm going to style that world to to occupy the whole uh, canvas so I'll position it absolute top zero right zero bottom zero uh, this is the order you should follow in uh, CSS and left zero and I'll have a background uh, black. Okay, we'll have black. Yep, the whole canvas is you now dark now. Uh, now, in this world, I'm gonna create a moon that we already. I mean, one of our previous videos, you remember that we created a moon. We are gonna do that again. So, now that we know it, it's easier to create dark moon. Um, I'll give it a height uh, border radius 100% and uh, box shadow of 10 picks 10 picks 0 and 0 now here instead of uh, zero, I'll give white so that we can see the moon. Uh, that's moon. We'll also have sun and we'll style that. Maybe for sun, I can have a um, you know uh, have a Unicode and I can style that. The yellow and uh, font size 80 bucks. maybe we need more yeah that should be enough now I will also have some stars uh, for that I'll use uh, asterisk symbol um, stars or star and that should do it but I'll have them in a single line this way it becomes easier to read okay so that star there is nothing much to do here color white so we see a star here but we want to arrange the stars in a pattern so we can uh, make the world uh, into a grid sorry Grid, uh, grid, template, columns. We can have some columns which are repeated. So I will have maybe five columns with uh, the same, you know, width maybe. Yeah. Now I'll have um, rows. Rows. Uh, I'll have four rows maybe four okay uh, if there are okay four I mean if there are more stars they'll be arranged in the rows uh, I'll have more so that you know the world is filled with stars I mean this one is not required okay this should be fine now I'll place the Sun and moon somewhere else or maybe um, yeah let them be there let them be there for now I'll arrange them in the middle so you know that I use this code called place items and now they are kind of uh, clean all right now we have uh, sun and moon showing up in the sky 
at the same time and also uh, background is dark which may not be the case in uh, in in the daytime so we'll use this conditional uh, to uh, to emulate day or night so let's say i'll take a variable day and i'll call that true okay so when it is day um we will not see the moon so we can have a condition here called if so this is how we use if hash if and uh, for you know true i can use day i mean for day i can use day equals uh, sorry uh, day equals true um, since it is true or false i i don't really need this you know equality sign uh, strict equality sign or even equality sign i can just remove that and then have uh, I can end the if this is how you end the if uh, slash so you can remember it like hash and slash for ending this conditions now if it is day uh, moon shouldn't show so if it is not day so with the exclamation I can make it as not day and uh, for Sun however I need this condition without the not uh, exclamation and end the if condition right and now another thing should happen in the daytime because we don't want the background to be black we want it to be white background and uh, color should be white uh, so i can have something like day if it is day white else um, black okay so this is a ternary condition uh, if you're not sure what what it means I'll just uh, tell you about it so what we are doing is uh, we are checking whether day is uh, true or false with this question mark we are checking if it is true or false day question mark so if it is true uh, this will execute whatever we have here will be uh, considered if it is false whatever we have after the column uh, taken into consideration you can have a you know string variable or uh, you can have anything there any condition there uh, you can have multiples of these also but for now I'm keeping this simple true or false now we need a way to control the you know day and night so we'll have uh, input um, with uh, with its uh, value okay with uh, we'll bind its value or we'll have a checkbox so we'll uh, bind whether you know the checked state to day let's close this so we need type also to be checkbox it's nice that you know use all those things now if i change it it becomes night okay now this is good so with this we can use day and night now we see that you know it's, it's like you know two if conditions we can actually merge these uh, instead of two we can make it one so uh, if it is day we want uh, sun to be shown right so if it is night we want the moon to be shown so what we can do is if day show this and we can have an else condition here else uh, show moon okay so this should work as usual and it is working now the next thing is let's say you know it's not true or false and we don't know what it is uh, what uh, time of the day it is we can have something else as well like let's say else if right if uh, day uh, let's say you know day we will have a strict conditional here if day is true sun else if uh, day uh, equals equals false it's moon and then we'll have another condition else uh, we'll have nothing here and just to do and when will this condition get executed right I mean uh, it has to be either true or false uh, since we have this strict equal uh, sign used here we can change it into something different maybe a string like this uh, now when we use uh, something like this uh, why is it asking for something 
11, 12, 11. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, when you are using something like a, like a string, we don't see anything. We don't see the sun or the moon. But when we click on it, uh, it becomes false. And then we see the moon. And then we click on it, it becomes the sun. And if the component refreshes, something like when I add a space, and it shows nothing, right? Uh, so that's how you can use else if, if you have like multiple conditions. Uh, for now, you know, we don't need that. I'm going to just remove uh, the else if that I have used. I just need uh, if and else. That should be enough. Right. Now, uh, we have these stars created, which is, which is like, you know, a uh, repetition of the same thing. So what I can do is, you know, let stars uh, equals um, I can have an array and then I can have star in it asterisk sign and uh, have more and then I can repeat those okay and instead of all these I can actually have a loop here called each uh, it starts with the same thing hash each uh, stars because that is what our variable is stars as um, star you know single star and then I can uh, end that like this and in between I can uh, provide uh, this maybe one and then I can remove all others and based on the number here how many of them you have the length of the you know stars and those stars should come here we can have more uh, so that more stars will show up. Um, I'll make it uh, false so that we can see it. Okay. All right. So more stars are coming up. Right. Now, this is again a repetition, right? I mean, we have these things and then they are repeating. What we can have is instead, uh, we can call this an array. So in uh, JavaScript, we have this function called array and then we can have something like 10 and that should work the same way right that length is 10 and since this is the same thing that is repeating we can just have that um, so this 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 still works we can have more uh, that should do it now another thing is you know we can uh, it doesn't have to be a simple array it can be an object array where uh, you will have objects inside uh, arrays okay something like this so let's say you have uh, properties here called name as a, okay this is a star and then there is a color also associated with it uh, let's say you have something like red and then uh, I'll have the new line that way it's it's uh, easy to read okay uh, again another one I'll have something else here uh, maybe dollar color green i use green name hash color uh, blue okay blue is that okay yeah so you can have this and here uh, you can actually uh, get that star dot name and that should come and then you can also use that in the color uh, background, okay, style, background, star dot color. Uh, okay, so that's a, that's a background color, I, I just need color. Okay, yeah, so they get their own uh, respective color. And now uh, one thing is if you want to have an index of those uh, you can also get that you can have a comma here and then you can call index or uh, something like you can also have something as i that should work uh, you can have uh, um, before the star name i'll have uh, index and I'll add, uh, I'll add a dot so it starts with zero uh, i can have something like index uh, plus one that way it's one two three okay maybe you cannot see it correctly i'll just have it in the middle yeah 
uh, this is the each loop and uh, we can have index and also we are using star dot name and star dot color uh, if you have if you're coming from other frameworks like uh, react we can destructure things so instead of star uh, we can destructure right here since it is an object um, have name comma color and then we can use the same thing here instead of star dot color and star dot name you can use the same things and it should work uh, as usual so yeah that's it guys i mean uh, i think i covered uh, else uh, if else uh, also else if and also this uh, you know each remember one thing that each works on things uh, that has a length if it doesn't have a length then uh, you you cannot use each okay guys thanks for watching uh, maybe hit thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you in the next one bye